Hey everyone, welcome to Whiskey Whistle. I'm the host of the show, Mark, and you're watching Whiskey Review number 189, Ardbeg, Ardbeg Kelpie Committee Release. Yep, the committee release from uh, Ardbeg, um, the Kelpie, that's this year's kind of like their special edition. Now, uh, uh, I've just made a bit of a blunder. I don't know the uh, alcohol percentage of this one, so I'll leave that in a little... Uh, I'll put a little text right there of what percentage it is. It's probably going to be about 50, I want to say 55% or thereabouts. That's my guess. Okay. And this little sample uh, comes from Matt Chambers. Matt, thank you so much for that one. Great to meet you a few weeks ago when you were here in Korea. And uh, really, really happy that, uh, that I get to try this because I don't usually get these special um, releases from most companies out here in Korea. And if they come to Canada, I'm from Winnipeg, if they come to Winnipeg, they usually come very late uh, to the game in terms of the, uh, uh, the cycle. Uh, they seems like we get them about six months later than other places. All right, let's get that poured. We're going to go all in with this one. There we go. Well, that's about 20 milliliters. More than enough for a review. I had a bit of a taste with him uh, on the rooftop of his... Uh, uh, his hotel when he was here So we'll give that a smell and a taste We'll talk about the finish and then we'll give it a whiskey whistle whiskey score And I'm going to compare that with the 10 year old which I've got right here Look at the mist now developing Mm-hmm. That's with a bit of water added So we'll have to add water to this one to get it to about the same level to give it a good comparison All right now if you have not subscribed to whiskey whistle, please do so right now uh, you can click just right here, go like this, and you'll click on there one, on that one, and you'll be subscribed to the channel. Uh, if you don't have a YouTube, um, uh, which we'll call it a membership uh, on YouTube, then please make yourself a membership so you can subscribe at least to my channel. Okay, all right, on to the nosing. Uh, huge ABV, so. You get a lot of uh, that sort of alcohol rush, but still very much a uh, lemon, peaty, uh, sooty, ashy sort of a scent coming through here. And yet there's a, there's a fresh, I want to call it a uh, lychee or mangosteen, a uh, fresh mangosteen effect going on here. Alongside the lemon. And the peat doesn't really um, take over your nose. So if if you have had little luck with uh, some other Isla, this is an Isla single malt Scotch whiskey from the Isle of Isla, I S L A Y. If you've had little luck with other Isla whiskeys, you might actually have luck with the Ardbeg. It's different. It is smoky in a, a different way than other. Uh, other of the others of the other of the other of the Isla distilleries and yes if you're new to Whiskey Whistle so I'm living here in Seoul South Korea I've been here for quite a long time 12 years in fact so long that I'm losing my English uh oh hi uh oh the big boss is home uh, that's my wife <laughs> All right, uh, so very interesting. Anyway, I want to compare that with the 10 just, just to compare. Yeah, more just straight lemon over here with 10. Uh, vanilla now because I've added some water. Very sweet. All right, now this one, again, a little bit of that mangosteen or lychee effect alongside the lemon. And my nose is really getting used to the ABV now. So we're into the 50%. Uh, that's pretty big. It'll knock your nose out at first, but go back in and uh, you'll end up being able to enjoy it a little bit as is. All right, onto the palate. Cheers. Hmm. Well, right off the bat, what I can say is much more um, barbecued vegetables, 
barbecued mushrooms, barbecued peppers, um, maybe some barbecued corn, uh, and then lemon, drizzled with a bit of lemon, dusted with a bit of balsamic, that's all in there. And still this sort of um, mangosteen sweetness is coming through here. Lychee, mangosteen, if you don't know what mangosteen is, it's very similar to lychee uh, in the flavor. Mm. and very dry I'm not sure what sort of casks have gone into this one and if I can find out I will also leave that um, in a text right here uh, in text not a text but anyway now I have a feeling that there is some uh, European oak here um, and relatively relatively new European oak so if, it, if it's had any content it's only had it for very little of course I could be completely wrong um, but there's something a little bit on the nutty nutty earthy side here that you don't really get from uh, the bourbon uh, barrels or the virgin oak and I don't think I'm tasting virgin oak here either you know, again, correct me if I'm wrong. I may be completely off on this one. Pretty sure I'm right, though. All right. We are going to add... I don't have much left here. And boy, I took care of half of that already. We can safely add one teaspoonful here. And uh, we'll let that do its thing. First, the, the food quig roll. If you haven't um, subscribed to his channel, please do so. All right, and then uh, we'll also do the patented whiskey whistle spin. Oh, yeah. Oh, well, I really think... I'm pretty sure that I'm right about this. I'm pretty sure there's some European oak in here. But I don't really think it's really sherry. Interesting. Okay. I think I can add just a dash more water. There we go. There. Okay. So. Kelpie, the committee release. What's the committee release, you may be asking? And again, I forgot to talk about my beard. We'll talk about that at the end of the show. So, um, uh, Ardbeg has a kind of like a fan club. And um, it is called... Is it in here? It is called... Oh, where is it? Um, oh, yes, the Ardbeg committee. Anyway, so the Ardbeg committee, it's kind of like a fan club. And... Um, if you become a member, which just takes a, an email, basically, or you can actually send in the uh, actual um, hard copy application by snail mail, uh, become a, a committee member, and you get privy to a little bit more information about things, and also you get the ability to purchase uh, the Ardbeg Committee releases, which come out every year, and they're always cask strength, and... Uh, Basically in line with that year's special edition, but uh, just bumped up a notch in terms of its um, uh, strength. It actually might actually have a little bit of extra content added in there. So just slightly different. Um, you know, if I use a Venn diagram, it would be kind of like, um, uh, you know, like a 90% uh, Venn diagram where there's only a little bit of difference, uh, but especially in the strength of uh, that whiskey. Oh, that's the 10. Here we are. Now, do we have some uh, Scotch mist coming through? Yes, we do. A uh, little bit less pronounced than the 10-year-old. But it's there nonetheless. And let's give that a, a smell. Now, boy. Very different. There's a nuttiness to it here. And a sweetness that's kind of like digestive biscuits. Um, so 
So still very green forward. I talked about porridge in the 10 year old and that would still still uh, still suffice still suffice still be an accurate description here. By the way, if you haven't tried that, get your porridge, put in some digestive biscuits and give that a try. It's really good. Maybe add a little bit of brown sugar. Brown sugar on everything is great, isn't it? Oh yeah, so it's gotten much sweeter. Still smoky. Um, everything is there in terms of the uh, the lemon aspect and still a little bit of that mangosteen or um, lychee. Very nice. Okay, let's give that a taste. Cheers again. Hmm. Very syrupy. A lot more brown sugar. Uh, some good vanilla there. Uh, still a lot of um, savory um, roasted vegetables, barbecued vegetables, smoked vegetables kind of a, uh, a content uh, is what I'm tasting here. One more little taste. Hmm. And yet still very dry much drier than the 10 year old. The finish is a little bit more on the sweet end. A little bit nutty. Still very long. A little bit less on the lemon uh, end of things. Hmm. Well, I quite like that too. Um, Now, <clears throat> uh, so a Whiskey Whistle Whiskey score for this Ardbeg Kelpie Committee release. Um, I really, really like it. Now, it is quite a bit more expensive uh, than the 10-year-old. And are you getting much more? <sighs> I don't think you are. Um, you're getting a little bit more. Don't, don't get me wrong. You're getting a little bit more. You're getting a little bit, something a little bit different. And if I'm right in that European oak content, uh, then you're getting a little more value in that, in that sense. Um, now, having said that, uh, what I want to say is that uh, it's great. It's probably as good as the 10 uh, in terms of its overall package when you factor in the, the prices. On its own, it maybe edges out the 10 a little bit. Uh, so... Uh, but anyway, I'm going to stick with 92 out of 100 here for the Kelpie committee release. Okay, so 92 out of 100, that's the Whiskey Whistle Whiskey score for Ardbeg's Kelpie release. Again, a big thank you to Matt Chambers. Um, great to meet you. So glad to have been able to try that with you and hang out. Uh, we went to a nice um, whiskey bar here in town called, uh, uh, oh, what is it called now? B. <laughs> oh, dear. B, I want to say it's B12. Is it B12? I think it's B12. Uh, it's in Chongdamdong. All right, anyway. So I've got that last little bit of a gulp here. I'm going to compare that with the 10 very quickly. This is the 10-year-old the right there. And this is the committee release, which I've got the sample bottle right there of. Okay, so the 10-year-old. Lemon sweet pine wood fire very fresh how about the uh, kelpie it's got that nuttiness a little bit more sweetness lemon is definitely diminished here not as licorice how about the palate Straight up sweet lemon vanilla candy. A little bit of that vegetable, roasted vegetables content. Finish is nice and long. Um, vanilla just sort of seeps through there with water added. You don't get the vanilla without water with the Art Big 10. The committee release. Hmm. Just a little bit richer. A little bit nuttier. 
reminds me a little bit more of a distillery on Isla that starts with a B. Um, yeah, there's two of them. <clears throat> One more taste here. The last taste, that's it. Hmm. It is immaculate in its delivery. Um, as many people would say, I wish it had an age statement, but uh, we can kind of guess that it's going to basically be 10 years old, plus, plus a little extra aging. Hmm. So, when I compare them side by side, I can say I definitely would prefer uh, the Kelpie release. It's got more going on on it, in it. Um, now, if I were at the liquor store and I'm going to be choosing one or the other, uh, I would buy this one once. Uh, I'll buy this one again and again. And um, uh, I think I think this is, well, it's my second bottle of Ardbeg. It's my first bottle of the 10-year-old. Pardon me. I'm going to have to edit that out. <clears throat> my first bottle was Ardbeg Ugodal. Amazing. I finished that one off before I started this channel. I've got another bottle of it uh, up in my rack there. I don't know if I'll open it or not. Um, I may look for another bottle and uh, make sure I have one on hand always. Um, anyway, wonderful whiskey. Great distillery. Um, well heralded. Uh, heralded? Well, uh, uh, but that's not the word I'm looking for. Uh, that's not the word you're looking for. Um, I'm looking for a word that basically means to look after something, which starts with an H. What is it? It's gone. This is the problem of being over here. All right. Anyway, enough chatter, enough blather. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to review, review. Don't forget to subscribe and review. Leave a review. Leave a review of my review uh, down below in the, in the comments, okay? Uh, subscribe and comment. Uh, like it. Please like this review and uh, stay tuned for the next one. That's going to be number 190. What's that going to be? Oh, by the way, this beard, uh, it's been brief. Uh, it's been about a month now. It's going to be gone for review 190. And uh, come back and have a look at that one. What do you think? How does it, how does it look on me? A little bit sparse on the cheeks. Needs probably another uh, month to fill that in. But um, uh, the chin is definitely nicely uh, nicely grown. Uh, very nice. It's been It's been... Interesting. It's too hot for Korea, though. Korea, it's hot and humid here. Not good for beard in the summertime. Oof, not good. Uh, anyway, thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.